thousands of gallons of crude oil are oozing into the Louisiana Make no Coastal mistake. Water. We will do whatever's necessary. But whatever's in fact, necessary. this is a crisis. Yes, I'm just a commercial fisherman. Oh, my whole Gulf life Coast. is based on this. Have we brought in the best and the brightest of all the minds that could deal with this? Team Vortec is about seven people right now. Basically a small company with a couple of guys with an idea, and now we're basically taking the idea to commercialize it and hopefully launch it through the XPRIZE competition. We're not a big company. Nobody's getting paid here. I mean, this is just because people have a real passion on seeing something happen and trying to make a change. We have no experience, and that's what makes it fun. We get asked all the time, go, how long have you been in the oil industry? And I go, well, counting today? A lot of people want to know your credentials and they want to know what kind of experience you have and all that. I gotta tell you how many guys said, you're out of your ball game here, this is way out of your league. Even my father-in-law, what makes you think you can compete with those guys? Those guys got years and years of experience of doing this, they've been on actual spills. What in the hell are we doing here? <laughs> the advantage we have is that we are not influenced by anything the industry has done because we have no idea what they've done. We didn't look at anybody else's design and what they were doing. We just said, if we were going to get oil out of the ocean, how would we do that, it? And this is what we came up with. It's like a salt mine. <laughs> what we have is the eel system, the emergency extraction line. We call it the eel because it looks like an eel in the water. It's just basically a boom that could actually extract oil as it comes in contact with it. I wanted something that was very flexible by nature that floats, that was stable in the water, that can do high volumes, but yet was easy to deploy and to handle for people. Our team is about as quirky and as unconventional as it gets. My full-time job back home is uh, running a tattoo studio in Las Vegas. I never thought I'd be doing this, ever, <laughs> you know? When I was drawing something up, I thought, I'm gonna help Ashley out. I'm gonna send him something that can help him come closer to his dreams and aspirations. Fred and I got together and I said, Fred, you know, let's, let's get some ideas. Let's start sketching out some ideas. This was just like the very first eel that was built. Is that the one with the Looks wide like... open front as opposed to the ports? Yeah, yeah. so this is doing float tests in my, in my swimming pool. I have goosebumps because I can't believe that I'm actually here. I mean, just to be here. This is our first shot at it. I mean, this is the actual first time we've ever sucked oil with the thing. There's not been a drop of oil in that thing except for what we spill on it when we're working on it. It's the first time we've ever pulled the eels. It's the first time we've ever sucked with a 12-inch line besides in the harbor for an hour. It's the first time we've ever had any weather conditions. Hey, that's not good. They told us, you know, when we got here, he said, everybody thinks their, their, their stuff's indestructible until they get in that wave pool. And yeah, our second pull. The waves are jerking on the tow cables. Look at, look at, look at that. Oh, we just lost the cable. Stop. 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 Well, hopefully we didn't rip something off the side of the machine. And it actually pulled out the whole side of one heel. Just ripped it right out. We pull back. You know, when that popped off, you know, we didn't even think twice. Oh, we can fix that. How? Oh, we don't know yet, but we can fix it. You know, nothing ever goes easy for us. If it was easy, anybody could do it. Hurrah! Always fourth quarter and you got the ball, right? I mean, it's just, it's kind of the position I always hope to be in. It fails, it fails if it doesn't. Kind of going for broke on this one. All on board! So, here we go. Last run, once we hit the oil patch, we, we flipped the switch and it, it was flawless. We couldn't have asked for any more. The pump was at full RPM, 2,000 RPM, which is supposed to be 50 or 800 gallons a minute. Go, 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 pump, pump, pump! Boys. A place like this where the world comes to test their technologies, these guys have been here for years. I said, listen, 
We never seen anything like this before. This is unbelievable. <laughs> and you actually shattered the record that we've ever thought was possible on our first trial day out. I know. <laughs> Came out of there like crazy. Oh, West out of the bypass. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Punching knuckleheads. I don't even know how it's possible, but we did it. So we did what we said we can do, and we're not even done yet. That alone, for me, even if I never won the prize, I just can't tell you how proud that makes me.